Everyone on the internet is looking for the cheat code to success. What is that secret formula that I can apply to my life to make me more successful, to make me a millionaire, a billionaire, whatever I want to be? And the information is all over the place. One of my mentors, Glenn Lundy, created the Morning 5 routine that helps him and a lot of people that he's helped around the world change their lives. But he admits the way he created them five routines was he studied the most successful people in the world and took what worked for him, applied it to his life. Cold showers. Many successful people take cold showers. Glenn said, that's not for me. I don't like it. Take it out. I'm not doing it. So you have to find out what works for you because all the work cares about is getting done. So as long as you do the work itself, success will come. That's why you can see homeless people, people out of prison, people that had bad childhoods grow up to be millionaires. And then on the other hand, kids that went to private school, got their doctorate, end up homeless. The world doesn't care about you. It cares about the work being done. And as long as you do the work, you'll see the success. You have all these guys on the internet talking about, go home, rip your TV off the wall, put a whiteboard up and write your goals down. The world does not care about what you're doing in your home. The world does not care if you have Netflix on in the background, porn on in the other room. As long as the work's getting done, the success will come. It's unbiased. It doesn't care at all. With that being said, there are tricks to the trade that help you, but you have to find out what them tricks are that work for you. Some people writing down your goals and gratitudes every day work great. It gives you clarity on where you're going. Some people already know where they're going. They don't, they don't need to tell the world or Jesus or anybody where they're going. They know, Jesus knows where they're going, but they know where they're going, so they don't need to ride down every morning. Some people, they got to get up at 5 a.m. and go work out. They got to they gotta get motivated. They got to get juiced up for the day. Some people wake up with that life breath in their face already, straight out the door, like a fireman. I call them people firemen. They wake up in the middle of the night down the pole and off to work. Boom, ready to go. There ain't no preparing. So you just got to find out what works for you. And at the end of the day, you got to make sure that the work gets done.